Welcome to WWP Clips. This is the official Clips channel for We Want Picks. We will be uploading our individual fight breakdown videos here. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And as always, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners. Make a deposit and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Next up. At UFC Long Island, we have Matt Schnell taking on Sue Maderji. Matt Schnell, 15 and 7 overall, 2 and 3 in his last five. And he's coming off that heartbreaking loss to Brandon Royval. Sue Maderji, Mudarji, I mean, fix these names. He's 16 and 4 overall. I need to write them out phonetically. He's 16 and 4 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five, riding a three fight win streak. Matt Schnell's a very good counter striker with solid BJJ, and he does a really good job of getting you to follow him. And as soon as you follow him, he plants his feet, he fires back with a combination. And he loves doing that off leg kicks as well. He'll end an exchange with a leg kick. He'll take a few steps back. You'll follow him, and then that whole cycle just repeats itself. His BJJ is slick, and he snatches things up and scrambles really well. And But while he can be slick on the ground, he has almost no way to get it there. He has a 33% takedown accuracy and only two takedowns in the UFC. Subinergy is a fast striker with laser accuracy and solid volume. He doesn't have much power, but because he's so fast and his movement is so well-timed, he can get stoppages. He's got plenty of cardio and a great in-and-out style, and he can out-decision most people who aren't looking to take him down. He has an impressive 100% takedown accuracy, but that's misleading because he only has one single takedown in the UFC. There's a fun striker versus striker matchup with two guys who fight very differently. Sumaderji is looking to fight a fast technical kickboxing match where Schnell will be looking to counter and just forward and hit you off that pressure. Muderji's sitting at the minus 260 odds you see here, and he's a pretty solid favorite, but I don't think you should sleep on Schnell. It's easy to look at his record and see he was submitted by Brandon Royval two months ago, but if you remember, he dropped Royval early, and it looked like he was going to get the KO win before he was caught in that guillotine. So this fight is going to be decided by who can impose their striking style, and I think the forward pressure and volume of Muderji will be better than the weight and counter style of Schnell. But like so many other fights on this card, I think this should be much closer than the odds. So Minergy's the pick. If you're talking bets, you know, Matt Schnell might be a solid plus three and a half play here, right? If you think he could win one round on the judges' scorecard, you'll buy another round, and then you'll hit your bet. I don't know. I haven't placed that yet. But if you think Matt Schnell is live and can win a round, these are the exact type of odds well, you'll get some favorable stuff there. So if you think so, you're only going to get the buy a round prop bet if you go to weonpicks.com slash bets. Five different partners. Bet online is the one and only partner that offers that. And if you want to sign up, make a deposit, we will send you 50 bucks as a thank you. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, I, I like Mike Sh Matt Chanel. I think he's probably a pretty underrated fighter in this division you mentioned that last fight he actually lost his mom during the training camp for that fight almost just didn't even fight at all but thought you know what let me push through this and came out and was super super aggressive and had Roy Vall in big big trouble I mean Brennan Roy Vall was on the ground scrambling for his life got dropped and was able to I mean that's what Brennan Roy Vall does man he just I mean he scrambles and finds positions and was able to find that submission and you can see the um, the absolute defeat in Matt Chanel because that was a tough fight mentally for him to get up for and was winning the fight and then and, and get got caught in that guillotine i kind of see this the same way as the um the ricky simone jack shore fight in the way that matt Schnell is not going to win a three-round decision versus suma muderji suma derji is that good will that not make got not get me canceled if i say suma derji is that good is that close enough um i don't think he's going to win a three-round so. decision yeah, I was kind of looking for you to kind of chime in there, but I'll just keep rolling with it. I don't think he can win a three-round decision. I think his best bet is to come through first round, sell out, try to turn this into a brawl, maybe find a way to get this fight to the ground because he should have the you know the, the grappling advantage in this fight. You saw Suma Mudeji's losses. I think they're all submissions, so I know a lot of people in the chat are like, oh my God, Matt Schnell by sub, Matt, Matt Schnell by sub. But Suma Mudeji is, is a very, very good fighter. You mentioned his in-and-out style. He's very, very slick with his in-and-out. You know, I watched one of his last fights. I came out 
of his last one or the one before that, where they were talking about how good he is at baiting people into shots. He will throw a jab, wait for you to counter. If you don't counter, he'll just be patient with it. And he sets up shots, waiting for your big shot, and that's when he's slick with his in and out and waits for those power shots. I think Matt Schnell comes out. I think his best pack to victory is to be aggressive, but also that puts him at most risk because Sumanderji is, is very good in those counter shots and with this power. And I just see Matt Schnell coming across, being aggressive, and Sumanderji just knocking him out, unfortunately. So I'm Sumanderji all the way. I think I have him in my DraftKings as well. He's one of those high-value guys. Um, he is in my lineup at $9,100. I think he's worth the play. Uh, he should be the better striker in the matchup, and I don't think the fight, the fight gets to the ground where Matt Schnell can shine. So I'm Sumaderji all the way in this matchup. I think he finds the knockout. Unfortunately, I'm a big Matt Schnell guy. Just a tough matchup for him. Yeah, I agree. I'm a big Matt Schnell guy too. I, I was picking him against Alex Perez and all those fights that fell through um, just because I like the counter style. But I do think Sue gets this done. Uh, he's one of the few favorites who's probably worth the money, the 9100 bucks. But, uh, you know, Matt Schnell, you know, Matt Schnell's tricky because Matt Schnell's always a live underdog. I think he's a live underdog in every fight that he's in, right? I don't think, I don't think he's ever been matched up where you're like, oh, he's going to get blown through. Like, he's always, he's a very good fighter. Um, but I do think Sue is just too fast, too technical, too slick, and I think he gets this done. So I'm not going to bet him if you think Matt Schnell can win a single round, that bet I mentioned earlier, you're going to get some solid odds there. Uh, but I will probably do the $9,100 in DraftKings. Because again, not a lot of fighters I like at these price points. And, and uh, he is one of them. Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line, I think it's more and more. I think this fight goes a little longer. I think they'll be touching each other. And it is counter striker versus solid offensive striker. So hopefully they're not just staring at each other because they'll both be trying to set traps left and right. I think they'll, uh, I do think they'll, they'll engage quite a bit, and I could see a more and more monkey knife fight. What do you think? Uh, plus 130 on that, plus three and a half for Mash now. I don't love that, that value, but if you want to play it, you know, hats off to you. Plus Probably 130 more. coming down from plus 220, and all he needs to do is win one round. That's actually not bad at all. I think he gets knocked out. Anyway, you guys want 50 bucks? You know what to you do. You want to bet? Bitch boy? Bets. Bet what? Oh yeah, you picked uh, Sumander. <laughs> I kind of, kind of, I kind of jumped down your throat there. Uh, sorry about that. I apologize. 